Hi everyone, Jopke here uh, with another mission inspiration. This is an oldie from 2015. Mike Deacon did a few missions before he started the Facebook group and I decided to do them as well. Uh, I have, um, there are four missions in 2015 two in November and two in December and I've done uh, the two of November so now uh, this one is from 12 December. These are probably not on the Facebook group but you can find these challenges uh, at Mike Deacon's channel as he made a video of uh, this. These. Uh, these 10 steps are set by Cindy Utter and she challenged uh, Mike uh, to do this mission. So I'm gonna try and accomplish this mission and starting with Adhere Music Ephemera. So starting with uh, Adhering Music Ephemera uh, this book found uh, my dad for me. Uh, my parents live in a big apartment building and they have a joint uh, area for garbage and such, old paper, plastic and whatever. And it's really a treasure room for crafters like me. And um, I gave him the assignment to look for things and he comes back very often with a great uh, deal of stuff uh, often or sometimes stuff that I have no use for at all but he wouldn't know what I need right so he picks up everything he thinks is useful and so he came up with these music sheets books. I have a couple of them, very happy with that. And I glue that down to my page with a Mod Podge. I am working again on a book text paper I cut out from a book and later on I will bind them into a book. Uh, so the first step was it here music ephemera and the second step apply paint tinted gesso with a comb. And I first added some plain uh, gesso to the page because I wanted to tone down the music sheets uh, a bit. And then I use a spatula comb. I have a set of these uh, spatulas which are actually uh, hair combs you use to dye your hair. And it had one with uh, a, a comb. Um, um, texture on it so I use that with an acrylic paint an ochre yellow ochre one and I added some in the middle of the page and then step three says use two gelatos and activate with water and I picked uh, I don't have very many gelatos but um, I choose uh, two colors an ochre yellow again and a kind of a aqua blue and then step four says add pattern paper shapes just recently there was this program on Dutch television called het roer om and it's about people who change uh, their lives and there was this uh, British couple who wanted to live in uh, France and they bought a huge castle and uh, she was very creative and found in that castle a lot of old wallpaper and she made an awesome design of these diamond shapes um, of that wallpaper and um, put it on a wall of one of the tower uh, rooms. It was beautiful. So I got the inspiration for this page for that. 
so I cut down uh, a few uh, diamond shapes piece of pattern papers and I glue them down on my page with a Mod Podge. Then step five says add texture paste through a stencil. And this is a texture, texture paste I made myself. I had this very cheap modeling paste from Action. A Dutch people might know it. It was uh, very, very thin, very fluid. So I never used it. And then I decided to put some grit uh, through it. Uh, which gave it a really fun texture. It's still quite thin, but with the grit in it, it really holds well. So I carefully add some diamond shapes on my page with a stencil from Stampin' Back. And I cleaned out my stencil uh, with every diamond shape I put on and dried it before going further because I didn't want to make a mess of it. Uh, step six, use two rubber stamps. And this is one by Dina Wakely. Um, and I'm using the Stazon Yet Black ink pad for that. And uh, make sure to clean my stamp on a piece of paper. And this is uh, one of my favorite stamps. It's a script stamp, which has no brand name on it and I use it a lot. Step seven, add drips and splatters. And this is a um, homemade spray. And I use some water on the top of the page and make it drip. And also using a, a black acrylic spray to add some splatters on the page as well. Step eight says add colored dots. And I had this pearl pen by Viva. I hardly ever used before. And I thought um, that could be nice to add some dots on the uh, modeling paste diamonds. And then I made this big diamond as a sort of a focal point uh, where, uh, which I'm going to use to add my quote. And I uh, uh, glued it down on a piece of thin cardboard and then uh, painting the edges a bit with the Faber Castell Artist Bit Pens. That is an orange and an uh, aqua one. And this is a double-sided tape, which is a bit thick, so uh, it will give some dimension. Also, I am using the artist pit pens to make some shadows around the little diamond shapes uh, I glued on before. And I'm also using uh, a Posca pen in a minute. Just picking out a few of the diamonds. I'm not doing all of the diamonds, just a few diamonds to add some shadowing and some outlining to create more depth. And this is the Posca pen, a white marker, which I use on the darker colored diamonds. And that is uh, actually my step nine. Add doodles. Uh, I'm not much of a doodler, so I uh, use this step to outline some of the diamonds. And also added some uh, scribbled lines on the big diamonds. And then step 10 says add a handwritten quote or text. And that is wonder the paths unknown. I am uh, painting the edges of that little strip of paper with the Faber-Castell artist pit pen again and then glue it down with a Mod Podge. So this is about it, I think.
Oh, I will probably... Uh, no, I'm not gluing it down with a Mod Podge. I'm gluing it down with a glue stick. And I will probably inking the edges, yes, with a, a Kyval ink, the color coffee. And then adding the date and my signature. And that is it really for my mission inspiration of December 2015. There's one more to do for me for December 2015. And then I have completed the oldies as well as the year 2016. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the process of this video. And I will leave you some links in the description box, of course. And uh, well, see you again very soon, guys. Bye bye.